MST is a, a systemic community-based intervention. The aim of the programme is to try and keep children safely at home and they could be children that are at risk of going into custody or secure settings because of offending or antisocial behaviour or they could be children that are at risk of coming into the care system. It's very much based on building on family strengths. Therapists who work within MST don't wait for families to come and see them at appointments in the clinic or an office. They are out about in the community. They use a number of evidence-based interventions depending on what's needed for the family. MST has a fantastic training support and consultation process. I think unlike other models, we have a, um, a very structured and very formulaic process of consultation which ensures that the model that we know works from the evidence base that's been around for decades is impacted on how the supervisor supervises their team and in turn how the therapist works with the family and that's how we find that we get the best results. There's a lot of quality assurance around the model but it will be tailored to their needs as assessed by the therapist and alongside that families are offered 24-7 on-call service from the team. If a family is in crisis and it looks like that a young person is, is at risk of going into care or custody because of their behaviour, then absolutely MST is the right service for you. The programme's really supported us in looking at how we deal with our son. The evidence-based programmes that we use uh, impact on outcomes very positively. They are time-limited interventions that are based on a theoretical model that means that we find a very high success rate in all of the families that we work with. The impact that MST has had is that the family has changed the ways in the sense of um, not arguing, falling out, it's talking about a situation, using our skills. It's brought us closer as a family. One of the particular strengths is around the engagement of families. So where traditional models of intervention have not been able to secure that engagement with children, young people and their families, these models really do work very well in that. So we have um, almost a 97% engagement rate of families that, that are referred to these services. A lot of the professionals which I've dealt with over the last seven years, a lot of them tend to come into your household get half the story and a lot of them tend to judge whereas MST you know they come in they listen to what you have to say they don't judge you they're, they're here to help us as a family. My role is to go into the family and obviously be there listen to, to obviously what the family needs are uh, and then come up with plans uh, and, and to support that family to, to move forward so it's, it's all about trying to make that family function better. We offer a lot of challenge, however we offer really, really high support. You feel like there's a safety net, there's somebody there 24-7. That's something we never had before. Yeah. We have 24-7 support because we expect families to struggle and this to be difficult. If I need MST, I can phone and they'll be there to talk to me and help me. You will get through to a therapist and you will get support immediately. Because of that, families do feel like we're in it together. I've learned things which I've never even known about. Charts, ways to look at things and everything which really helps. So, yeah, and they listen. And they are there 24 hours, seven days a week. It's not about us going in there saying, oh, you're not doing this right, you're not doing that right. Because we go into the family home, you're doing a lot of observations. And there is things that actually some parents, some families are doing well, but maybe they just don't stick with it. So you being around can obviously see some of that sequence and reflecting that back to the parents, empowering them that actually you did this right. There was this positive sequence where you did this right. So how do we continue to present that positive behaviour? MST have also had success in keeping children in full-time education. So working with schools as well as the families and social care and also they've had quite a significant impact on reducing the rates of offending behaviour with some of the young people that they work with. There are young people who would definitely be heading towards the criminal justice or care system which involves significant costs and we've been able to avoid those. So not only do you get better outcomes for children and young people because they remain within their family settings, there are also significant savings to the public purse. And MST has turned me into a better person. They've turned my family into a better family. We're closer, we talk, 
We want to be together, we go out, we do activities. What we want to do is that by the end of treatment, we're hoping that they can sustain them changes themselves so they don't need that crutch to fall back on once we've left the door at the end of treatment. It feels lighter in the house, everything, just the moods feel lighter.